If you want the run uncut, yeah. unapologetic from the jump. Yeah. And no politics in this club, just dirt from the streets and the creeks in the mud. Tech 12. Best podcast for the Seahawks, number one sports talk. Yeah, we got it on live. Tech 12. Every episode, 12 hot takes. And we repping for Seattle, my place. Tech 12. It's the Take 12 Podcast. Thanks for tuning in. He is Lofa Tatupu, and I am Brett Dabber. Yep. On this episode, ooh, what did we get into? Um, well, go charge him. <laughs> <laughs> we go over uh, the most stressful 10 minutes of my entire life, and I'll give you the story. Of, of the end of the Husky game and 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 we'll talk some Huskies for sure we dip into the Seahawks and well not even dip into we get into the Seahawks at length and what they need to do against the Arizona Cardinals and what the Chicago Bears need to do against the Green Bay Packers and then we get back into the Huskies and look at what they might need to do against the Michigan Wolverines coming up on Monday and Lofa will tell you not only the score of the Seahawks game, but also the score of the, or not the score of the, actually, we didn't get a prediction from you on the Huskies and the Wolverines. Oh, we get an no. official prediction? We, we, could do that on, we could do that on Monday. Right, okay. Chief. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm too nervous too right now. Anyway. You are. Jeez. Right. I've never seen you like this. Oh, well. <laughs> the Huskies have never Act been like you've been there before. <laughs> Act like you've been there before. I was nine or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was eight. <laughs> He looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> yeah, oh, now you look 18. Good you for guys, you. the That's... show is brought to you by Wiener Schnitzel. Ask us about our wieners. Lofa and I, we were proudly in front of Lumen Field. I was wearing my hot dog suit. I had my ask me about my wiener sign. I was a- answering questions about my wiener all morning as we passed out stickers and Wiener Schnitzel hats because we love wieners and we love Wiener Schnitzel. And we know you guys do too. There's two locations in Everett and Fife. Honestly, so many people were walking past like, oh, can I get one of those hats? Those are sweet. Give me one of those. Because <laughs> they got funny stuff. It all says like the world's most wanted wiener and things like that. You it's didn't give funny. any to any Steelers fans, did you? Uh, you know, a Steelers fans, a couple Steelers fans did actually pick up some beanies from us. We had some wiener schnitzel beanies to try to keep warm. And it was McNeil who gave them. I, I was against it. <laughs> I'm blaming on McNeil. <laughs> Two Turned locations. On the nasty, real quick. <laughs> Everett and Fife. I'll throw them right under the bus. Right under the bus. Uh, two locations, Everett and Fife, everybody. Go on in, mention the Take 12 podcast. Get a free hot dog with any other purchase. Purchase. It's Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, it was a fun conversation. Let's let's just get right into it, shall we? Um, he, here's it. here's us talking about everything. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Bro, okay. Uh, should we? Who wants to pick the order here? Huskies, Seahawks, Huskies, Seahawks, Michigan, Seahawks, Michigan, Huskies, Huskies, Seahawks, Michigan game. What? Who's picking the order? I'm, dude. I don't know if you can con- contain yourself. So if you want to go Huskies, you know we okay. have a lot of Seattle and Washington fans. Whoa, my friend. I mean, you guys. Um, okay. Lofa, I have watched a lot of football. You've watched a lot of football. I've watched a lot of football. Uh, you've played more football than I've watched. Who knows? <laughs> Listen. I'm, what I'm saying is, I mean, I played one year of freshman, okay? I'll play one yeah, year of frosh, all right? I played up there at the old Edmonds Woodway (laughs) next to the student parking lot. It was a mud bowl. They put the frosh out there in this. It was a. It was was shaped like a bowl. Katie, we. I've watched so much football. Yet every time you watch, and this is why everybody out there who says, "Oh, I don't watch sports," this is you're all missing out, because Mm -hmm. when you watch any sport, it doesn't matter. Something is going to happen that you have never seen before, and and it's it and it's, it's. I've Lofa, I've ne- I don't think I've ever seen a team almost lose a game because of the injury stoppage timeout type deal in that way that we saw in the Washington game. And Katie LeClaire, yeah. 
and Lofa and everyone listening and all my dear friends and everyone I've ever known who's hearing my voice, please understand something. Your friend Brett died a little. Like, a little. I think I died. A little just bit. Just the weak part. I, dude. It's just the weak part of you. I, you never had faith? I, I think I might have flatlined and then they brought me back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened, dude. That's the most... Katie, that was the most stressful 12 minutes of real time I've ever had in my entire football freaking life. Period. Well, it's it's a teachable moment, and I hope DeBoer did. If you got a guy down there, if you didn't see his you know, leg or arm just bend completely the other way, you grab his ass and you drag him off the field. Oh! You gotta, you gotta forest and Bubba him off the field. <laughs> you know, yes, right? Forest is carrying Bubba out of the jungle. Yep. Yeah. You have to. You have to. There's too much on the line. That gave them 30 extra seconds. I was losing my mind, and this is the old coach in me. I'm just like, yo, what and player? What the hell is he doing? I know he's in pain. You gotta army crawl your ass off that field, uh, dude. Uh, uh, I, Katie, you guys. I said things, I said things in those 20 minutes of real time that I'm not proud of. I mean, I, I <laughs> Katie, oh, oh, you guys, I, I mean, seriously, that, okay, Russell threw the pick on the goal line, and we all know, okay, and that was one of the worst sports moments of my entire life. But that only lasted a moment because it didn't – the lead-up to it was amazing. Jermaine Curse caught the crazy juggling catch. We're driving the ball. Here we go. It's like an excited feeling. Here we go. We're going to – oh, no, he threw it. It's deflating, right? This yeah. in the Husky game was like 10 minutes of torture. It was like <laughs> – it was – Probably felt like an hour, didn't it? Oh, my God. I've never said the word stupid so many times in my entire life because the kids are there, so I'm trying to keep it PG. I was just, I was just, wa I was pacing the floor of my parents' basement, just going stupid, stupid, stupid. This is so stupid, stupid, stupid. This is so stupid because Lofa, because the the uh, the the drive before that, we they had they had two timeouts because they had just burned one, and we could have run the ball again, but no. They put the ball mm. in in who should be the Heisman winner's hands, right? Which, fine. Best player on the field, fine. They want to put the ball in his hand, that's fine. But he throws incomplete. Mike, Mike, my guy, just take a knee. He's running towards the sideline. If you don't see anything open, Mike, take a sack. We got to get Sarkeesian to use this timeout, baby. But mm. no, they preserved the timeout. And, I, and from right then, and that's why I was yelling stupid, Lofa, because that's what I was saying. Like, that was the stupid moment for me. Not Dylan Johnson, the poor kid's hurt well, and everything. Lofa said, fine, but run the ball, baby. Well, even <sighs> leading up to that, that, even like two drives before, you're up by, what, 13? And then you start breaking out the free, flea flickers. And like, I was just like, what, is it? what are we... <laughs> What are we doing? Stupid, like, stupid, stupid, <laughs> stupid. Ah! Oh. But they, but they, but Katie, but 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 they pulled it out. They pulled it out. They did. They pulled it out. But dude, I mean, the when someday when you just look up at uh, that score printed somewhere on a on a commemorative football or a poster or something, it, like. It, those who weren't there won't remember the emotions because it goes down as like a six point victory. And you see the, the bat away yeah. at the end, the SWAT herd around the world. And we should get into all the positive stuff. Maybe that's how we do this. We'll go Seahawks yeah. then into the positive stuff, but cause it was incredible. But the, Oh man, they, they I mean, if they would have Lofa, if they would have, if Quinn Ewers somehow finds a receiver. If you guys cooped it? Is that, I mean, brother? Oh, <laughs> man. You better believe I was just thinking of all my WSU fans right there, like they were going to be calling me, texting me, because that would have been the biggest of all time, dude. That would have been brutal. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, um, hey, uh, uh, epicseats.com, everybody. Talk about a sponsor. Epic Seats. This is the way we do the show now. We just jump in and start talking. Uh, EpicSeats.com. EpicSeats.com. Use promo code TAKE12 to take 12% off of um, 
when you spend $100 and then uh, also get an extra $12 when you're selling seats with Epic Seats when you mention our Silly Fun Podcast, Take 12, epicseats.com. Um, to the Seahawks for a moment, at least everybody. The Seahawks, well, they need to win and then they need help. This is a Seahawks show after all, so we might as well talk Seahawks. Um, they need to beat the Cardinals and then they need the Packers to do something that the Packers haven't done in quite some time, which is lose to the Bears at home. I don't think it's happened since the 80s or something like that. Really? <laughs> no, it's been a long time since the Bears marched into Lambeau and and beat the mighty Packers on the frozen tundra. So, Lofa, um, what's ahead for our Seahawks here? And and do you think that we can do it? And do you think the Packers, or sorry, the Bears can do it? First and foremost, we got to take care of business. We can't yeah. be scoreboard watching or anything like that because nothing matters if we don't win the game ourselves down in Arizona. And Arizona scares me, man. They, <laughs> Kyler Murray is always scary. He looks healthy. He looks every bit uh, the part that when they 